what stop spin problem is and uh, figure out an algorithm for it. Stock spend problem is a financial problem where we have a series of n daily quotes for a, uh, for a stock and uh, we need to calculate span for each price quote. So this is the bookish definition of uh, what is st stock span is and I, uh, I found it on Wikipedia. So let's break it down. What is, what is span that came up in the uh, description? and uh, what is actually what are daily quotes so let's consider a, a array of quotes like 180 60 these are stock prices for a week so and here it is equal to 7 so what is span the main idea here is to find what is span for each price quote this can be better understood than explained but through a diagram the diagram says it all the stock span on a day particular day i if we know the previous day j in a week if is such that it the stock of the j is greater than that of i so 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 what to do with the index of the stocks and what are the indexes of the stocks here so in our previous previous example inputs uh, let's calculate the stock for fifth day fifth day the stock is 75 so i is equal to 5 and uh, stock is equal to 75 so what what it is what it's preceding day j such that it is greater than that of i that is 75 let's see index 4 is it no so it uh, let's say it, uh, in for a better understanding let's say that 5 5 is not beating 4 yes 5 is this and 3 no it is even lesser than 5 so 2 no it is even lesser than 5 and what is index i index 1 index 1 is 80 so we have found a j 1 and the stock price of it is 80 so we need to calculate the difference between these two indexes that is i minus j that is equal to 4 this will become the stock span for for the index i H how to keep the track of all preceding stocks this can easily be done by using a data structure because data structure is a way of organizing the data so we need to organize the data such that we need, we have the knowledge of the previous days so for that we will use stack here let's calculate uh, the spans for each uh, each stock in the input so let's have a array of spans that that will be initialized with one because span the first stock will be always one and let's take a stack here and also initialize it with zero because we have already entered the value of spans uh, the first index now let's iterate through all the input elements and find the spans of each element so the current i is one so what is the first uh, index element first index stock first index stock is 80 now let's check with uh, the top of the stack a uh, zeroth element is zeroth element uh, is 100 is greater than ith element yes so it is uh, for our better understanding let's say uh, this index i is index i is not beating zero zeroth element so we have to update the spans array let's take the stack is it empty no it is not empty so it is not it means if it is not empty it is not the highest stock uh, so in that case as we have seen we have to find out the difference between the top of the stack and the current i so this will become j 
so the stack will become 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 so right now the uh, the ith element will be before we increment the i we need to update the stack with the current element that is 1 so now the current i is 2 the current element at index 2 is 60 let's check with the top of the stack the top of the stack is the index 1 index 1 the element is 80 is element 80 greater than 60 yes so this uh, 60 will not able to pop the element off because 80 is still a highest stock so uh, what should we do now uh, we need to update the spans uh, array uh, let's check the condition of the stack stack is not empty so uh, we have to find the difference so difference of i and top of the stack index is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so uh, uh, before we iterate through the third element we need to update the stack the stack will be updated by previous index that is 2 so now the current i is 3 so the i th index is 70 let's check with the top of the stack 60 is 60 greater than 70 no so the nearest highest stock will be popped that is 60 will be popped off and now now let's check with the to uh, top of the stack the index 1 is 80 the element at the index 3 is 70 70 is lesser than 80 so we have to come out of the loop update these spans spans here is is 3 minus 1 that is 2 and we need to pu push this into the stack now the index will be incremented by 4 so the element at 4 is 60 so now let's with let's check with the top of the stack 3 it is 70 the index the element at the index 3 is 70 it is so 60 is less than 70 so what should we do we just need to update 4 minus 3 that is 1 in the spans now the top of the stack is will be updated to 4 now the element is incremented by 5 so what is the element at 5th that is 75 let's check with the top of the stack what is the element at 4 it, at 4 it is 60 so 4 it will be popped off first and then let's check with 3 3 3 is still lesser than 5th element so it will be popped off and 80 1 is 80 so at the 80 is greater it's still greater than 75 therefore it will will not be popped and we need to find the difference so stack is not empty hence we need to find 5 minus 1 that is 4 so span for the 75 is 4 and we need to push into the stack and it will be incremented to the last element that is 6 it is 85 let's check with the top top it is 5 75 yes it is greater so it will be popped we still we do not need this anymore because we have got the nearest uh, stock and uh, let's check we have these are all popped elements and 1 80 80 is lesser than 5 at lesser than 85 so we have to pop this off then now let's check with the zeroth element that is 100 is 85 greater than 100 no so we have to come out of the loop and uh, update the stack and find find out the difference before updating we have to find out the difference that is 6 minus that is 6 minus 0 that is 6 so this is how we need to find out the spans for each stock prices we will now write a pseudo algorithm for this so let's say our function name is calculate span and 
and uh, it takes two parameters uh, instead three parameters one is prices that is stock prices and then n that is nothing but number of inputs and finally s that is the spans that we need to update uh, so first of all uh, let's say we will be creating a stack st uh, as as we have seen we need to initialize the stack with the first element so we have to push the first element index that is zero and we actually need to update this s as well or spans as well with the first element A span first element span that is nothing but one okay so we need to construct a loop to iterate from the first index to the nth index first so in this loop one what we need to check first we need to check the stack condition right so if it is greater we need to pop or if it is not we need to come out with, out of the loop so we'll write this if a uh, loop here as well first we have to check the price of the top of the stack if it is lesser than price of ith or we have to pop or we have to check a break condition that the stack shouldn't be empty so we'll also keep a condition here And if these conditions are met, we need to pop off the stack. So what's after popping the elements from the stack? That is, we have found all the nearest possible highest stacks. So after that, we need to update the spans. So S of the current element is equal to, we have to check the stack condition. So we will use a ternary operator here so stack if it is empty if it is empty we need to we need to update the spans with the inde index plus one because that is that is the highest element that we have found till now so that is i plus one and if the stack is not empty we have to find the difference with with the top of the stack that is i minus top of the stack so after after updating updating the spans we need to update the stack as well we need to push the current element into the top because we may not, never know whether this current element might be the highest preceding stock for the upcoming elements so and that's it the algorithm for finding the stock spans for each stock price is as simple as this it is just few lines of code for with using the data structure right data structure stack there's multiple many usage of data structures we will be looking at in the few next further videos and i'll see in the next one see you here we go